The number of patients remaining stranded at major government hospitals nationwide is continuing to rise. This follows the doctor strike most patients nationwide have been left unattended to and wallowing in pain. The medical workers have resolved to only attend to emergency cases in hospitals such as in the casualty wards, accident victims and expectant mothers. They should make sure that one, they handle every mother who comes to deliver. They handle every emergency. Someone comes with, you know, a distended abdomen, a short abdomen, they handle it. But also the children, some of them need blood and they cannot wait. And then we also have, like now, this is an intensive care unit. Someone is a life support machine. So all these lives cannot be compromised. Patients with other ailments have been left unattended too. The doctors demand that government resolves issues of duty facilitation allowances, fixes in terms of working conditions and welfare, as well as payments for the senior doctors. The strike was declared on Monday, the 6th of November, by the Uganda Medical Association at their annual general assembly held at Macquarie University College of Health Sciences in Mulago. The doctors want government to increase their salaries and duty allowances for the health practitioners. They also want review of the salary chain and management of medicines, vaccinations and medical supplies, as well as disband the State House Medicine and Health Service Delivery Monitoring Unit. As I've said, enough is enough. However, industry action is not our aim. Our aim is to reverse the current state of, uh, of health system failure. An emergency meeting was conveyed on Tuesday, the 7th of November, attended by the Prime Minister, Rakana Rugunda, the leadership of Uganda Medical Association, at the Prime Minister's office in Kampala to convince the striking doctors to end their industrial action. I would advise that the industrial action is Suspended. That intern doctors are trainees, they are not in formal employment. <coughs> Senior house officers likewise are trainees. They are, some are in formal employment, some are not. So I hope that clarifies your issues. However, this did not yield much as patients continue to feel the pinch. At Iganga Main Hospital, patients have abandoned their hospital beds and started going home. Most of the beds in the female and male wards are empty, with few patients who claim that they lack transport to enable them to travel back to their homes or seek alternative treatment in private health care centers. In Lira, patients who went to seek medical services remain stranded and unattended to at the outpatient department. Lira Regional Hospital. Only few interns and student nurses were seen working on patients who had already been admitted back before the strike kicked off. At Chirundu Hospital, few medical doctors attended to patients. These demanded that government works out a mechanism to solve the problem. However, Uganda Alliance of Patients Association has faulted the doctors on preferring an industrial action over saving the lives of patients and also failing to have a dialogue with government, saying that they have left especially children, the elderly and the poor in a most vulnerable position. And while caring, we are supposed to be kind, tender, we are not supposed to discriminate. They say that doctors have as well as neglected their call to love and serve. Actually, our motto says that we have been chosen by God to love and serve, and that we are a holy people, and we must depict this at every time. However, the organization has also urged government to ensuring more commitment to addressing doctors' concerns by providing them with tools to work and availing the patients the medicines that they require.